Welcome back to another vlog. It is me, your girl Zoe London, Zoe LDN, London, whatever you want to call me. And welcome back to another vlog. I feel like I'm zoomed in. Am I zoomed in? Nope, I'm not. I'm zooming in now. So, um, yeah, we're with another vlog today. I'm actually getting ready to go to work now. So, I'm going to work. I'm meeting Dami today for some drinks, some food. I need to do my nails. And um, yeah, that's what's on the agenda for today. So I'm getting ready to go to work. But thank you guys for joining me on another vlog. Hit that subscribe button, comment, like, show some love, and I'll see you guys in a jiffy. Okay guys, my battery's not full, so I don't know if I should go and get the spare battery. Mm, I think I should, cause I didn't pack a charger. Damn. This is so annoying because I've got so much in the car, but I can't be bothered to pack everything, so I'm literally gonna leave it. They break into my car, then boy. Okay, I'm back, guys. Got the battery, and imagine I left my card holder at home. So thank God I went back. <sighs> so I'm on my way to work, and I didn't want to come back home, so I've packed my makeup in this hacker sandbag, ghetto. But um, I'm meeting Dami after work, so I'm thinking. I might do my makeup at work and I'm able to do that now because I've changed roles at work so I've mentioned briefly I'm probably gonna do a video on this but I've mentioned briefly how like now I okay I almost banged the car um now that I suffer with long COVID what is happening so let me finish this reverse boy if I bang this vehicle because now I suffer with long COVID I can't really do the job that I was doing before because there's a lot of like movement and I struggle with like um, breathing and whatnot. Like the small walk I've done to my house, I really parked near my house. I'm sort of out of breath. I'm really hot, but um, okay, now there's bare noise outside, so I'm gonna wind that back up and put on my AC because I can't. But um, yeah, so I've gotten a new role at work, which is mainly. Guys, if my presentation is not good, sorry in advance because I don't really understand what's happening. This thing doesn't want me to be great. Long story short, guys, I'm going out with Dami after work today. So I've had to bring my makeup off me and I'm going to attempt to do my makeup at work. Ghetto as hell. I hate doing my makeup when it's out of like a house. But um, yeah, hopefully I've gotten everything. If not, then bro. But um, yeah, going to work now. And um, I'll see you guys in like a few hours or whatever. Period. Okay guys, I'm finally at work and I'm about to have some chocolate cake for brekkie. This is why someone can't lose weight. But um, yeah, I'm about to do some work then I'm gonna take my break and on my break, I am going to do my makeup and then I'll be done for the day. So yeah, just wanted to update you guys. So I'll see you guys later. Guys, ID is trying to put me onto watermelon. <laughs> what is good stuff? I mean, I'm not really a fan of watermelon, but I don't know. I think I like the texture. It's water. How much is it? 
Guys, if my mum watches this and sees me eating watermelon, she's gonna be so confused. Everyone in my house knows that I basically hate watermelon. There you go, Mama. Thank you. Talk to you. Really? Really? Am I meant to swallow the seeds? No. Oh. The white ones you can. Oh. The black My mom's gonna be so confused at like this. Two thousand years later. I even update you lot. So I finished work, came home and got ready because I forgot some of my makeup at home. The angle's not really good. So um the time now is like 8.15. Me and Dad were meant to meet for like six, but then we had to push it back. This angle's also not gonna look a bit spooky, but basically I booked a table. My looks look scary. I booked a table at Lochma in Westfield for me and Dami for 8.45. So I need to be leaving now. Otherwise, I think I'll be late. But um, yeah, can't wait to see Dami, I'm so excited. <laughs> I forgot my spare batteries again. But okay guys, I'm in the car now. I'm about to drive to Westfield. It is 8.20 and the table was booked for 8.45, period. So I'm gonna try and drive fast. After I meet Dami, I might be going to meet Maripel's sister and um, one of their cousins that have just come from Ghana. But that just depends what time. Oh, I was meant to put on the plaster for this is my broken now. But that all depends on the time that I finish with Dami because this was planned from a while back. And you know adulthood, yeah? Hold on, let me just put on my seatbelt. As I was saying, with adulthood, me and Dami have been trying to link for ages is either and obviously you guys really don't know this is gonna be Dami's first time on my channel but um Dami had a baby last year so that's another thing so it's all about like sorting out care for as if she needs to go out and okay guys I just got to the Westfield car park guys I don't know why but I feel like my camera it it looks so zoomed in I don't know what'll be happening there child so I just called Dami, she's 14 minutes away. So I am walking to the restaurant so at least I can secure the table. I feel like my outfit's stupid. I literally just made this outfit. Guys, I was looking for clothes for ages. I'm just wearing this shirt from Zara, this top from Zara. And I'm even wearing boots in this seat. Oh my gosh, bare people. Guys, I'm putting the camera away. guys i had the sweetest interaction with the black lady sat next to me i'm gonna insert my tweet of what happened but she encouraged me so much and even prompted me to vlog this like if you're watching this i love you and thank you so much for the good vibes <laughs>
I know I have smile lines, but I can know. Tell me why me and... How'd we get out? Excuse me. Hey, oh, yes. You can't go out. No. Oh, really? We're gonna sleep here? <laughs> of course. <laughs> I mean, there's loads of food here. I'm happy you can keep me in here. Too. Oh, there you go. Right. Thank you very much, guys. Take right. care. Bye. Bye. Guys, tell me why me and Dami were the last to leave the restaurant. Yeah, because of somebody. Me or you? You. Girl, bye. <laughs> it's giving yummy mummy. Huh? It's giving yummy mummy, period. <laughs> Mummy's night out. Period. <laughs> me, our mummy and spirit too. <laughs> mummy and spirit, but guys, we just like, how did you find the restaurant? It was so good. One of the best Turkish restaurants I've been to. I'm not one of the best. Yeah, no, I you're drinking. Guys, that makes an exaggerated food. <laughs> really, Turkish food is so good. Dami, nice. where's my car key? Yeah. You put it in your bag. Are you sure? Check, check, check. check. Yes, yeah, there, man. E boy. Anyway, guys, see you guys in the jiffy. Peace. It's 12.03 and I am going home. Guys, I was so happy to see Dami today. I don't think you guys understand. I feel like my quality looks really weird, but I can't put my finger on what. But yeah guys i was so happy to see dami today it was such a lovely catch up we literally ate loads of food and just did my two favorite things to do like i'm just so happy i love i love my friends i love seeing my friends like i'm actually i'm so happy guys i don't know if you guys understand how happy i am why is this thing taking me this way guys in fact but yeah, it was a lovely time. I went to Lockmore and Westfield. I haven't seen Dami since the pandemic started. Dami's had a whole baby. Like, it's so mad because I've been friends with Dami since I was in year eight, year nine. And like, with like, just, it's just, it's crazy. Like, now we're actually adults. Like, Dami's a whole mum now. And she's doing amazing child. How do I get out of here? Because I'm going to get angry soon. Yeah, like, oh, this is how I get out. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay. Um, Dami is a whole mum now. And it's so crazy that this day, four years ago, me and Dami were together in Ibiza. And today we've linked up. And it's just like, and like I was trying to say before, before like, I got distracted like adulthood is so hard it's so hard like we're not 15 16 anymore where we can just wake up and make plans that like, don't get me wrong you can but no I don't want to go to that one Man, what is happening how do I get out of here before I get angry and wound up like guys when I say for months me and Dami I've been trying to link up but it's always one thing or another and it's like I said she's just got like a newborn well my niece is one now but um there's more things for her to consider whereas me me I'm still I'm still a silly girl so I've got a lot more I don't understand what is happening I finally found the exit bruh guys I'm gonna kind of concentrate now and um this thing should let me out where guys this thing here yeah, is meant to be ticketless and they gave me a ticket okay e boy guys why is it me to accept my ticket show why me I can't even find a fucking ticket guys I think I dashed the ticket. I would have a nice day. Period, you pill. But, um, seeing Dami has put me in the best mood ever. Like, I've actually missed her so much. And guys, like, mine and Demi's, like, friendship, right? I'm going on, like, a, a rant or whatever you want to call it. But 
it's like me and Dami, we don't see each other often, but like every time we link up, you wouldn't know that we've not seen each other in months, sometimes years. Mm. So don't get me wrong, we text and we talk on Snap or Insta and that, but we don't always get a chance to see one another. So I'm just, I'm just really happy. Now this thing's done, it's put on my seatbelt. Okay, seeing as this light is on in my car, I just want to ask a question. All the aunties and uncles that are watching this, mom and dad, if you're watching this, can I just ask why you guys lied and said that if the police see this light on that you're going to get arrested? Y'all had me believe in that myth. And it was like, what was the reason? Why did you tell that kind of fib? Like, it doesn't even make any sense. I just don't know. Anyway, guys, I'm on my way home. I'm going to be home in like, Two minutes, not two minutes. I'll be home in like ten, to be honest. But um, yeah, I was meant to go and meet. I don't know if I told you. Let me just stop at this light. I don't know if I told you. But I was meant to meet Peggy. But I just called Peggy now. Peggy said she's in her bed. That they've gone home already. I was thinking. I, I can't find my watch. But I was thinking, it's just twelve. Why are y'all niggas home already? But um, yeah. So now I've got to go home. But yeah, guys. Hope you've enjoyed following me today on my date. And I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow. Yeah, so it's another day. I'm meeting with some of my friends later. Um got like my friend's dad's remembrance. But um what I jumped on here to say. About to be vulnerable, but um, last night obviously I stopped vlogging, but I stayed on the phone to Dami as we both drove home, and um, we somehow got into talking about God. I don't even know how the conversation even got into that, but we started talking about our relationship with God. Yeah, we we're talking about God, and then I was basically just saying that I feel like you know, like I'm backsliding, or well, not even like I'm, I am, like I've backslid. Like yeah, I'm not like how I used to be with God. I'm not like praying as much i don't fast as much i'm not spending time with god like i used to and before these used to be things that i do daily and that was how i progressed my relationship with god so I, we just spoke on that briefly i said i can't even tell you why this is happening and why i'm struggling to do something that used to come to me so easy and like i've been feeling guilty i've been feeling bad because obviously like i'm not being the daughter that i should be to god and i know what i should be doing but i'm not doing that so i feel like a bit of guilt was definitely felt and then last night this is why I was crying last night God spoke to me and he told me that these are just my thoughts of what I think he feels God has never told me that I'm not worthy of his love God has never told me that I didn't I no longer deserve the good things he has for me God never told me that oh because I'm backsliding now I'm not part of like his family or he I'm not his like baby anymore do you know what I mean that like, God never told me this thing that yesterday as I slept God spoke to me and told me that the plans like and he even showed me like he didn't even just tell me he showed me that the plans he has for me are the plans he has like nothing's changed like his love for me hasn't changed and that made me really emotional because I can't and I don't really speak I haven't spoken about my backsliding with God neither have i told my friends like dami was the first person that i told about my and it was even it was very briefly i didn't go into depth it was very like we spoke about it but it wasn't that like, hardcore like oh yeah, yeah 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 so like for god to the same day i finally spoke out about it is the same day that god not me getting emotional <laughs> The same day I spoke about it is the same day that God said, you know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you something here. You're gonna know that all these thoughts you think I'm feeling, you're you're incorrect, babes. Do you know what I mean? And I woke up and I was just I was in tears, guys. When I said I was crying, and I was crying because I felt so loved. And I, I actually felt God's warmth and his love for me, and that made me so emotional. Because I was just thinking all this time, like I was feeling like, you know, like I'm no longer part of this community or I'm no longer in touch with God like that, do you know what I mean? And bro, God definitely spoke and said, hmm, 
all these things you think about me and what you think I'm gonna feel towards you is it's all wrong so that made me so emotional I was crying for time and I just thought I'll just put this out there to share because I don't know who this who this can help and um, I also tweeted it because I feel like when God it's very easy I feel like if I could feel that way about God thinking about me I'm sure it might be a normal feeling that others may feel that oh yeah like, I can't do this because I haven't done XYZ for God and maybe God wouldn't want do you know what I mean so I just thought that um I'll put that out there literally God just wants you to come as you are like you're actually so loved like God loves you so much I'm starting to get emotional again because on, I can't put into words how I felt about myself and how I felt God felt towards me because I'm not doing what I need to do do you know what I mean it's just I love God so much honestly and I feel like that's what was even annoying me even more. The fact that I'm someone that I really, really love God. And I take pride in my relationship with God. So normal things like praying daily, I was struggling with. That's never been my situation. That's never been me. And to me, it all came down to, oh, yeah, man, it's long. I don't have time. I need to do, do, do. How can I not have time for God? Someone that always makes time for me. Even when I don't make time for God, God continues to make time for me. And he continues to make a way for me. And I feel like that's when I started feeling like bad or whatnot. God came to reassure me so I just wanted to put this up there I'm gonna go because yeah I'm gonna start crying there but I just want to put that out there that God loves you and you're loved and there's there's nothing that can stop God from loving you like God loves you so much so yeah peace because I'm crying too much now <laughs> okay guys I can't do frontals but I've just attempted to do this frontal I'm gonna do a thing and then come back and show you guys what it looks like Okay guys, my hair came out very shit, so I ended up packing it, and um, yeah, I just don't understand, so I've done a frontal for no reason, but I'm about to leave now, to leave my camera at home, if anything, if I do have vloggable content, I'll vlog on my phone, and I'll see you guys later. Hi guys, and welcome back to, <sighs> I don't know why I'm always out of breath when I pick up my camera, but hi guys, welcome back. Um... I'm ready for Danky Sounds. I'm going to Danky Sounds with Elise. She's on her way to my house and then we're going to be making our way there. Doors close at five and the time now is 4.03. <laughs> Joker! But um, yeah, I'm gonna quickly brush my teeth again and then might have a sip of... I've got Henny here. I told Elise to buy apple juice. Guys, me and Elise finally found parking. Period. Period. <laughs> so now we've got to walk to the venue and I'm going to leave my camera in the car because I've got too much to carry anyways, but we'll see you guys later. I'll try and vlog on my phone. I sound a bit sick not sick but I sound I woke up like sneezing like I don't know I feel like this year I have hay fever but um yeah yesterday so yeah yesterday I went to Danky Sounds and guys it was amazing I tried to vlog but guys it was so good I only ended up getting like one clip but I have hopefully put a tweet out for people to send me some videos so hopefully some people send me videos but yeah, at the moment, I'm just about to start editing my Ghana vlog because it's long overdue. But yeah, Thank You Sounds was amazing. And um, yeah, sorry I didn't get enough footage for you lot, but it was actually a very good time. If you guys watch my weekly vlog, I did go to, well, when Liz was DJing for them at the City Splash Festival, which was really good as well. But yeah, I'm just going to edit my vlog and just, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
I am just yeah doing my vlog and watching Grey's Anatomy. I feel like I am going to be ending the vlog here. I feel like because today I'm just gonna have a rest day. I'm back to work tomorrow, so I feel like I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Guys, do you know what? Like when you guys might be feeling that like, why do youtubers always say comment like subscribe da, 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 da. the engagement is what boosts us our content up for other people to see so when you guys comment and like i really do appreciate obviously when you guys subscribe as well i really do appreciate it actually means a lot to me so keep doing it guys i hope you're enjoying my content make sure you're following me on all my socials so you keep up to date with what i do some things i do put on instagram first so make sure you're following me on instagram at z-o-e-l-d-n underscore that's zoe london underscore well that's zoe l-d-n underscore and um yeah guys i'll see you guys in my next video peace <laughs>